I got the Cirque shovel and the CTX 3030, of course. And we're back here again at the lagoon where I found that two real just on the other side of that weed patch there on the shoreline here. I got back from vacation about six weeks ago and been busy since then. So this is the first time I've been out since then. Anyways. All right, just that far from the truck. First target, one of them. Second target. Out of that four and a half inch hole, 1968 copper penny. Nice. That gives me hope. Third target. Right out of that hole right there. I don't know if you can see it in the shadow, but it's only about three inches deep. It's so crusty. Eagle quarter. 1996 Eagle quarter. Okay, third target. Yeehaw, we're on the board. Fourth target. Another copper penny. 1976. We're right here next to the rocks. Alright, right out of that three or four inch hole right there, I got these prescription glasses. I don't think they're gold. Alright, it was a 1205. It's a pretty low number. But this is what it was, a set of prescription glasses that broke all up when I dug them out. But I don't think they're gold. If they're gold, they'll say right there on the inside of the nose bridge. All right, right there where the shovel is. Right in this little back little cutout in the weeds. There was a zinc penny up underneath the bush up there by that little tiny twigs that are growing there. Right there. 2001 New York quarter. Right there. Alright, I've made it all the way down here to the weeds. Up along the edge here. Lots of aluminum. I ain't gonna be able to get through there. I see where there's, it drops off over here. It's probably wet down in around the curve right there. But you can see where the elk have been wandering up through here but yeah they're probably up high in the mountains right now they're probably up high but they come down here okay let's get back after this All right out of that little hole right there about three inches down right next to the water line here 1974 dime I don't normally do these, but now it's a 1243, three inches right there. All right, 1246, two inches, 1244, two inches. Let's get the pinpointer out and see if we can't find it. I don't know what it is yet. Oh. That little shiny thing. A little shiny thing that was right there on the top. What is that? Is it a part of a reel? Recessed. <coughs> Knurled on the end. Knurled all even inside there. I don't know what that is. The top off of a, the drag off of a washer for a reel. I'm not sure. Anyways. That's it, whatever it was, is. Well, I moved it out. I moved it wherever it went to. It's 
not down in that muck anymore. I think it's right down in here somewhere. So whatever it is, it's probably going to be junk. I always have that option of deleting this clip, right? Oh, Jesus. Heck it. There's a piece of a beaver tail. And I got a piece of a... <laughs> and a piece of a... Where's the rest of it? To a swivel, a snap swivel. Can you see that? And a piece of a beaver tail. 1208. There you go. Alrighty then. And now you know why I don't do live digs. That's why. Remember that last live dig that I did and I told you I didn't like doing live digs? Well, that was right there. There's the the mud clump. I buried it back up, swept over it, and went back up there to the went back up there to the log, come back, second sweep down, and I caught another signal right before I got after that one. Well it was a dime that I thought it was to begin with. But somehow it was right there. Right there right there and that piece of a snap swivel and that end of a beaver tail was right there and the dime was right here so anyways it's a 1989 dime uh, six inches apart from where, where that beaver tail and that snap swivel was all right I still don't like doing live digs. Twelve forty-four, six inches. Twelve forty-three, four inches. Twelve forty-three, four inches. Still right in the middle of the bottom of that hole. There it is. Second dime. Is a dime. It's a dime. Yeehaw. It's a clad dime, and I ain't gonna be able to get a date off of it right now. All the green is right there still on it. But it's a dime out of the bottom of that three inch hole. Semi live dig. Yeehaw, done. I did all this. All the way up in here. Right back in there is where that little cave fort thing was. Did all the way back over there to the weeds. Back up in there. Found a few odds and ends. And I found somebody's little idea of a fort here back up underneath this tree. I haven't got to the edge of the... Ouch. Watch out for that low branch. It hurts. But anyways, there's a, a little kitty fort here. Nothing in there. Went 
put her back up in there. And there was one little piece of a rivet off of a jean right there, but uh, other than that, there wasn't nothing in there. So. But we gave it a good thorough cleaning. All right, let's keep 444. going. 1345, two inches, probably right there somewhere. Yeehaw, a live dig that might pan out. Okay, here we go. A live dig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I thought for sure it was a quarter okay just goes to reaffirm that Daryl does not do live digs I thought that was a quarter for sure and it's just a big old rubber core sinker okay we're done we're out of here See you back in the house with a roundup. This is what I found out there by, by the lagoon. One of these is one of these is steel. That one, that one's steel. A whole bunch of aluminum, about 15 or so pieces of aluminum. I balled the bottle cap, some uh, glasses. I haven't looked at those. A uh, few of them, a few of those, a couple of beaver tails, a sinker. Uh, some other odds and ends uh, One zinc penny four copper pennies Four dimes and two quarters were a total of 11 coins All right, I'll clean it all up and show you what I keep All right real fast 10 gauge shotgun shell three of those pull tabs four of those pull tabs a couple beaver tails fishing sinker, a blade for a spinner, a snap swivel, a piece off of a grommet. I believe this is a piece off of a fishing reel. I'm not sure, but possibly this, I believe, is also the a, a star drag off of a fishing reel, but I'm not sure about that either. It's knurled all there. Anyways. This is the little piece off a of snap swivel that I, or snap that was back underneath there by that little kitty fort. It's all that was back in there. And the glasses aren't real. There's nothing on the nose bridge right there. If there was, if it was gold, it'd be on the nose bridge right there. Two quarters, four dimes, four copper pennies, and one zinc penny for 11 coins. And we know where it all goes, don't we? Yeah, man. Right into the treasure chest. Yep. It's getting full. It's getting full. There's a little bit of room down in there, but we'll see if we can fill it up by, by the end of the year. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye.